Please welcome the founder of the Janes, Heather Booth. If we organize, we can change this world, and we need to. This is the great joy in my life, doing things for others. And you are people who make a difference. You take action, and when you take action together to reach out and help people find their own voice and our own power together, you help to change the world. I first saw this when I was in the Civil Rights Movement. In Mississippi summer in 1964, heroic African Americans were risking their lives to register to vote with the support of Northern volunteers, including me. While supporting a voter registration drive, I was arrested for the first time in my life by a sheriff who was trying to stop people from voting. And I learned that sometimes you have to challenge illegitimate authority. During that summer, as many of you may know, three of the young volunteers, Andrew Goodman, James Cheney, and Michael Schwerner, were killed by the Klan. But because people organized, even when it seemed most hopeless, even when facing terror, and politicians who wanted to limit democracy and freedom for their own political gain. Even then, because people organized, within a year we won a Voting Rights Act. When we organize, we have changed this world. And now we see a pushback on these freedoms. But we make progress when we organize. In 1965, a friend of mine was pregnant and nearly suicidal, not ready to have a child. Her brother asked, could I help her find someone to provide an abortion? It was a more innocent time, and I hadn't thought about the issue before. But I approached it as a good deed, a moral act, as in the golden rule, treat others as we would want to be treated. And I did find a doctor, Dr. T.R.M. Howard, I didn't know it at the time, but he had been a champion for civil rights in Mississippi till his name appeared on a Klan death list. And then he came to Chicago, where I lived. The procedure was successful. Then word must have spread because more women called and more called. And it led me to set up a system, an underground abortion service before Roe, and told people to ask for Jane. Over time, I recruited others to this service. And the women of Jane learned how to do the procedures themselves. And before Roe, the women provided 11,000 abortions themselves. They were safe and accessible, but they weren't legal. We need to continue to organize for the freedom to make this most intimate decision of our lives, when or whether or with whom we will have a child. One in four people who can have a child will have an abortion. One in four. This means it could be your sister, your friend, your cousin, your mother. It could be you. We need to keep this safe and accessible and legal and not have politicians get between a woman and her doctor for the most personal decision of our lives. But this is up to you and our numbers magnified around the country. We can do this only if we take action together and organize. You are people who can do this. You can add your voice, provide visibility on the issues, help people register and vote, add your support in countless creative ways. You are leaders we have been waiting for. The same thing applies to the freedom to vote, for sensible gun laws, 
for the freedom to build democracy in this country and around the world. When we organize, we have changed this world. And if we organize now, if we educate, engage, we will change this world. And so I thank you for all you have done and all we will do together to change this world.